In today's tutorial, we'll be recreating this simple pluck sound in Serum. Yo, welcome back. It's your boy Akito, London based DJ and beatmaker. Hope you're well and safe. In this tutorial, I'll be recreating one of my favorite pluck presets called Double Measures from my Serum Sound Bank I released last month. This is a slightly altered version that we'll be making today, which also features heavily in a forthcoming track I made called A Friend Is For Life, Not Just Guest List. And the main melody goes like this. I've also left a link in the description for anyone that's missed the preset pack. I'll also be dropping a video every day of quarantine, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. Let's start with a blank canvas and initialize the patch. The characteristics of a pluck are usually a really fast attack, short decay, and not much, if any, sustain or release. So let's adjust our envelope one to reflect this. With everything we're doing today, we can refine it as we go. Let's get the basics sorted for now. Now we'll move on to oscillator A. For this specific preset, we'll select the analog BD sine wavetable. We'll give it a cheeky bump up in the unison voices to five. We want to keep it detuned, but not too much. Let's say roughly 25, 30% for now. We'll also add an LFO to modulate this wavetable position. We'll get into this later, so stick about. Next up, we've got oscillator B, my G. Let's select a wavetable. We click, click down to the vowel section. This time we're going for the native curse wavetable. Similar to its cousin A, let's bump up B up to five voices of unison. Detune wise, we'll keep it the same for now as we can always adjust these parameters to our preferences. I'll also drop the volume down a fair bit. Let's hit a few notes and hear how it sounds so far. Now we're going to go and add a layer of noise to the mix just to give the preset some additional texture. For this sound, I'm going to use the J106 high pass, which can be located in the analog folder. I don't particularly want this sound to loop, so I'll enable the one shot mode and also the pitch tracking. So the noise changes with the notes. I'm going to drop it down an octave by adjusting the pitch knob by minus 12 semitones. Here's what it sounds like with the noise. Next, we'll thicken up the sound, adding some drive and fat in the filter section on the top right of Serum. We'll also introduce a filter to the sound to give it some extra movement. I'll set its starting position to roughly 75% on the cutoff knob. I'll also increase the res. I've selected the MG Low 18 filter for this. We're going to add modulation to this by using LFO Source 1. So the cutoff opens up every time a note is triggered. You can achieve this by dragging and dropping LFO Source 1 onto your cutoff knob. This blue light will show you how much is being modulated by and in what direction. I don't want it to open up completely, so I'm going to let it modulate the filter about 10%. I'm also going to use a separate LFO to modulate the position of the wavetable to liven up the sound slightly. I've put the LFO setting on off, so it follows the BPM rather than the notes for a slightly unpredictable vibe in the movement. I'll drag and drop this LFO onto both oscillators A and B individually and adjust it as I see fit. Now we're going to play the sound with the modulation on and also bypass so you can hear the difference.
Looking at the preset before, I realized I had created two slightly different envelopes for each oscillator. We can copy envelope one to two by holding down Alt, then dragging it onto a new envelope. The second one had a slightly slower attack, a bit of sustain and a longer release. It was assigned to the volume of oscillator B, just creating a slight difference in the volume and envelope. Next, let's glide into the effects section of the Serum plugin. Let's chuck in the reverb. We can always bypass these effects too at any stage. If you have a plugin you prefer the sound of, yeah, go for it. I'm going to add some distortion to the sound and set it to down sample to give it a fuller, slightly crunchier sound. Then we'll finish it off with some hyper dimension and echo to fill out further. Here's what it sounds like with the effects. And here's what it sounds like with the effects bypass. And that's it for today. If there's any sounds in the preset pack you would like me to recreate and break down for you, please let me know in the comments and I'll cook that up for you as soon as. I'll see you again tomorrow. Stay safe. Oh, 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 oh,